Hi, I'm Ross Johnston, an historian of Queensland for many years. Sitting quietly under the spreading banyan fig tree in the city gardens, I've just had a marvellous walk down the colonial Brisbane Heritage Walk between William and George Streets. The colonial Brisbane Heritage Walk gives us marvellous snapshots into a number of very important segments in Brisbane and Queensland's history. We've got the convict forebears and just a few remnants left from that very early time. Commissariat stop! Moreton Bay, 1824. A penal colony was established to punish secondary offenders. They were the convicts who had re-offended while serving their sentence of transportation to Australia. Penal colonies were run by the army and a military commissariat procured, supplied and distributed all essential goods. Food, tools, building materials, weapons, clothing and uniforms. So, building a secure storehouse for the commissariat was a high priority. Then we've got marvellous examples of how suddenly Queensland in the 1860s, just separated in 1859, how it's filled with enthusiasm and exuberance. And so we get lovely buildings like Old Government House. Old Government House now! Built in the 1860s, this was home to the various governors of Queensland until 1910. Old Government House was the first major public building planned by Queensland's new colonial government. Orchestra sound. Oh. Although the site is usually bustling with university students, it isn't hard to imagine the early days of old Government House, when governors would entertain guests in function rooms overlooking the gardens. By the 1880s, again, we're in a very prosperous time, especially through gold discoveries, and buildings like the, the old Treasury building emerge. Treasury! One of Brisbane's most impressive sandstone buildings, the Treasury was built in three stages, from 1886 to 1928. Back then, the Treasury building was a proud symbol of government and the focus for patriotic celebrations. In 1901, from a specially built platform on the first floor of the building, Lord Lamington, the Governor of Queensland, proclaimed to a crowd of thousands the colony's transition to statehood within the new Australian Commonwealth. Shall be united in the Federal Commonwealth under the name of the Commonwealth of Australia. Brisbane today, 2009, looks to be a, a very modern, progressive, progressive city, lots of high-rise buildings, plenty of steel, glass, skyscrapers, and in a sense, too much of its colonial heritage has been lost. The one that I particularly lament is the Bellevue Hotel. It's very important in heritage terms because as a result of the demolition of that hotel, which really was a beautiful facade in that New Orleans style, um, and now it's a rather dull little park. But because there was a lot of protest, especially about the way the government had more or less deliberately allowed this building to deteriorate through the 1970s, and then in the stealth of the night have it knocked down, this did create a lot of angst, a lot of energy, and a lot of protest. And out of that, in the 1980s, we then begin to get important heritage legislation. So so that nowadays it is much more difficult to knock down a heritage building. I've really enjoyed doing this colonial Brisbane heritage walk. I think it's worthwhile to slowly amble along, look properly at the different buildings. We need to know our past just so that we can know our future. That's an old, old truism, but it's so important. <laughs>